Same video, but with voiceover. Let's see which one does better on YouTube. This tropical mix is ironically named after the sea. Ironic because the base pigments that this mix is made of are two of the more hydrophobic pigments one can work with. Phthalo Blue Green Shade, PB15 Colon 3, and Phthalo Green Blue Shade, PG7. They are fully rejecting water if I were to give them a choice. To temper the fierce characteristics of these pigments, they are mixed with something that is as far away as a thing can be from the dynamics of the fast-flowing sea. It's solid marble, only the form of marble I'm using is the powdered form, PW18. It's counteracting both the hydrophobic nature as well as the deep dark mass tone of the pure pigments. So how is this mix made? Well, it is a technical mix, so it is not a pigment put in a jar next to the other pigments, shaken, not stirred, and, you know, put on the slab, but this mix is made with ceramic bowls milling and grinding the marble dust, PW18, with PB15 and PG7. So what you're ending up with is a very uniform mix with no little lumps, of white, blue or green. PW18 is often used as a base for lake pigments or as an extender and filler in the more commercial paints. In both cases without any mention of the use on the label as it isn't required to put those on the label. Same goes for PW21. So why do I name it? Well because a mix of these two pigments Taylor Blue and Taylor Green will never look as pastel white or light if you mix them, just the two of them. They will never end up having the same effect on paper or look on paper as they do now. They would closely be to PB16, Taylor Turquoise, deep and mass tone and turquoise in its washes. Whereas this paint is almost teal, more close to PG50 than PB15 or PG7. So it's a wonderful mix. It's very nice to make paint out of, since you don't have to deal with the hydrophobic element of the phthalo pigments. It's also less staining, although a little bit more staining than a cobalt teal pigment would be. It's also not granulating, so it's beautiful for even and light washes. I hope you liked this video. And here is a closer look of a swatch of sea green. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, turn on notifications if you don't want to miss when I drop my new video.